before my Johanna Balfour and this coloring book is a coloring book for adults to read magical jungle. As you can see it's an inky expedition and coloring book and well with this video I am going to show you how to color beautiful flowers like these ones. This book has a lot of flowers to color and I colored these ones with watercolor pencils. Uh, so well, I am going to show you how to color them. And th this is a symmetric double coloring page and well here I have my favorite watercolor pencils which are Winsor and Newton. It is a metallic box and well inside this box I, there I have 24 colors of pretty beautiful watercolor pencils. I also have a water deposit brush with uh, water inside and then when I press the water deposit my brush gets the water for brushing my coloring and do the watercolor effect. Well, so stay with me because I'm going to start coloring some beautiful flowers. Well, here I have this flower. It is more like a tropical flower. And well, first of all, what I do is to take the plum color, which is the violet. Okay, and very slowly I start to mark the border of the flower inside the the coloring inside the drawing very slowly I mark it with my plum pencil I mark the border of the petal and well, I do the same in all my petals Otherwise, following the lines of the green page. This is a beautiful flower with five patterns, and I'm going to color it like the one that I colored in the, in the other page. So uh, I go on with the room. Pencil, and well, I have my five petals colored with this violet color. Now I take the water deposit brush and very slowly I start to brush from the point of the petal to the center of the, of the flower because I want to have this direction for my watercolor effect. I'm not pressing too much the deposit because I don't want to too much water for my coloring. Well, the, this book has a good quality paper and this is why I can use a watercolor pencils for the coloring book. This is original, it has good quality and well, uh, I can I can't use water with normal paper, so this is a good a good part of buying this kind of books. I highly recommend them if you want to start coloring with watercolor pencils. Now I'm taking a uh, yellow pencils with this colored sunflower, but well, you can use any yellow colored expensive and I mark the center of the flower. Then I take orange and I start to mark 
again inside the dines of the rolling bed. I follow the line art and well, I color inside the drawing, pressing the borders of the lines and I just color following the lines. Now I'm giving some touches of wrench and well, with the with the brush I start to to give water to my curry and I get a gradient range thanks to the water of my brush. Now what I'm going to do is to color the leaves of my flower so I start taking around well with the brown I just do some saline effect and yes now I'm going to color the leaves what I do is to take green pencil a dark green for example this one which is colored those green and I color the center of the leaf and the border very lovely I color the border and I do the same with the other leaf I color the border of the leaf and then I mark the center of the leaf I I will go on coloring this and well now what I do is to take another pencil this is a lighter green colored collage and this is going to give light lighter green to my leaf I color the rest of the leaves with this light green and yes now I'm coloring all the and now what I do is to take my brush I put the water I blend very slowly the colors using just a little amount of water well and this yellow gives some light and some brilliant color to my lips so here you have my first flower just like the one that I colored in the other page and now I'm going to color this other one and this is a blue a beautiful blue flower I love blue flowers <laughs> I have a real tattoo with a blue flower <laughs> on my back but well I, again I start with plum and I'm doing the same that I did with the other flower I start coloring marking the border of the petals this flower has has eight petals so uh, I'm marking this eight petals okay and now what I do is to take a blue color colored royal blue which is like a dark blue in the cyan it's a dark a dark blue and I color with this blue blending the blue with the, the plum with the violet color and I'm mixing and blending this two colors again what I am doing is to to color the border of the eight petals and I'm also coloring 
the center of the petal. So now I followed my my end petals with this. I'm marking harder the blue. And what I am going to do now is to take another pencil. The pencil that I'm going to use is an olive green and I'm coloring the center of the flower with this and I'm going to mix this olive green with yellow. So here I have the center of the flower done. With the help of my brush, I blend the colors and well, it's like a light green they are blending thanks to the to the water of, of my brush and now i take a very light blue color azure and i start coloring in the petals from the point of the petal to the center maybe as you can see i'm not coloring all the all the petal only the point part of the I'm only coloring a part of the petal with very light blue this is because I am going later I'm going to blend my colors so what I do now is to take a dark blue it's this this one and I am coloring the other from the center of the petal towards the other direction with this dark blue. And well, what I am going to do now is to blend these two different kinds of blue with my water deposit. Well, it still has some green pigment because I didn't clean the the blue but it doesn't matter I like the effect of the of the green with the the mix of the blue colors and well you can see with uh, with the water I'm making a very beautiful watercolor effect mixing and blending my the blue with the purple, I start brushing and coloring the part that I didn't color it before, just with the brush and the water. I try to to make lighter and darker parts of coloring. And well, um, my petals are are now colored, and you can see it is a very beautiful effect. Just using different kinds of blue. Well, and now what I am going to do is to color the leaves of this flower. I'm using. Uh, light green, well, a face of all, what I'm going to do is to give some green to my petals. And yes, now I'm going to color my lips. I'm thinking this dark green, colored loose green. And what I do is to, to mark the, the center and the lines of the leaf again I'm coloring the border following the lines of the drawing and with this grass green which is a light green I color the rest of the leaf leaving a lighter green So well, now I color with a 
darker green but with the water slowly I blend the colors well this leaf is, is done and now I am going to use again the olive green and with this olive green I am marking again same technique the center of the border of the leaf following the lines of the coloring paint now again I use the glass green for the rest of the flower I color very just very slowly with no pressure on the paper and now with the water I blend the different greens that I am using doing this beautiful watercolor effect so well, now what I do again is to take the dark loose green and with this green I color the third leaf again coloring the middle the lines and the border of the flower sorry not the flower it's <laughs> the the leaf but well it's just a part of the flower now what I do is to take a lighter green again I take in the grass green and I color the, the rest with this grass green and with the bruise I blend for the watercolor effect the water makes this this beautiful effect so well my my second flower is done and as you can see it's very easy to color beautiful flowers like the ones that i have in this paint thank you very much for watching i will do more videos if you like this one like it thank you